Good morning, everybody. As you can see, I look like a freaking Eskimo. We are out here doing big things. Gonna be doing some bass fishing. Finally! I feel like I have not gone bass fishing in months. And I, that's probably because I don't think I have been bass fishing in months. It's been a long time. I've been doing a lot of hunting and I've actually been sick the last week, which is why I have been lacking on the videos. I was hunting in Kansas and I got sick. And uh, so I came home, tried to lay low for a few days. I streamed some cod for those of you guys that follow me on Twitch. And hopes that I would feel better and really I'm not. I got about 45 minutes of sleep last night because I could not stop coughing. Like I literally just could not stop coughing. It was the worst thing ever. But I'm here. I got my man Milliken. He's going to see if he can put me on the juice today. We're fishing in Omaha, Nebraska right now. It's 39 degrees. It's a little bit cold. But I have not made a fishing video in a long time. So I have a very, a couple, a couple very important announcements for you guys. So one, you guys have the opportunity to win an $83,000 boat. Okay, yeah, you heard that right, 83,000, but you have two days to do it. Unfortunately, I have it. I wanted to put this part in a fishing video, and I haven't made a fishing video in so long, but for those of you guys who know, Randy Howell, Bassmaster Classic Champion, he texts me, and he's giving away his boat for the King's Home Charity. He wanted me to do this in a video, and I was like, absolutely, I'll 100% do it. Basically, what you do is I'll leave the link down below, I'll leave all the information down below, but you basically donate, and it gives you a raffle ticket, and he'll randomly select, select somebody to win his 83 thousand dollar boat which is kind of crazy and it goes to a good cause for those of you guys who don't know king's home is a charity organization that's uh that doesn't get any federal funding so basically it's all private donations that that get funded through it and what it does is it helps um the women and children that are abused um you know be get safe and and basically just you know live life uh the way that everybody deserves to so anyways i'm not going to talk about it anymore i will leave the link down below would really appreciate if you guys donated it ends on the 18th the saturday november 18th i know i wanted to make this video sooner so you guys had more time but you guys really only have two days to uh to make the donation before they give off the raffle actually like a day and a half so before the 18th make sure you go click the link down below if you want to try to win an $83,000 boat. Secondly, this right here, Mystery Tackle Box. This video is actually brought to you by Mystery Tackle Box. For those of you guys that do not know what Mystery Tackle Box is, you basically you sign up for it, they send you this box right here filled with lures to your doorstep every single month. Make sure you use promo code FLAIR. You get $10 off your very first box. And I'm actually going to give this one away. I'm going to give this one away right here. All you got to do is you got to leave a comment down below and I'll randomly select somebody. So you guys have been wondering, hey FLAIR, who won the fall fishing lures giveaway? Well, Alex Katz won the fall fishing lures giveaway. I know that was like a month ago, and I wanted to make sure all the comments got rolling through there before I announced the actual winner. But Alex Katz, you won the fall fishing lures. But like I said, if you want to win that mystery tackle box, you just drop a comment down below and I will give it away. But huge thanks to them for sponsoring this video, making it possible for me to go out on a cold day with Millican Fishing and try to catch some Nebraska brutes. Anyways, I'm going to shut up. That's a lot of talking, right? But I had to give you guys updates. So sorry that took so long. Let's get to fishing. Hands are numb. Been fishing for four seconds. Hands are numb. Yeah, that's a fish. That's a fish. I should probably catch this fish. Putting them in the well, boys. Oh, that's my first fish of the day, folks. How's this lighting? A1. There we go. That's what we came here for. Look at how defined their ladder. Would you just not for a quick second, buddy? That'd be sick. Look how defined their lateral line. Look, hang on. If, wait, are we doubled, though? Are we doubled, though? Oh, we found the juice. Doubled in the tongue. Better drop the poles. Drop the poles. Drop the poles. Look how defined their lateral line is. Crazy cold. What's what, how how cold is the water? Forty one. Forty one degrees. Forty one the grease right there, folks. You guys are wondering what I'm throwing? A little little jerk and stick, as people in California call it, rip baits. Jerk and stick, rip baits, whatever you want to call it. That's what we're using. One of the best cold water baits. If you guys remember during the top five fall fishing baits video, actually I don't remember if I talked about this bait, but I should have if I didn't. It is always in my fall fishing list as the lure that I throw in the water is the absolute coldest jerk bait. Do I have a fish on? Oh, 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 oh. get him, get him. Look dude. at that. Oh, jerk bait, look at that. Boom. Jerk and stick, that done it. That was your PB, right? That was my PB. Me too. I caught one last week that was an inch shorter than that that was previously. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, oh. Here we go. Milkman, what'd you get? On the uh, on the not jig. Quite, not quite my feet, well, thank God I came fishing in 20 mile an hour wind to catch a giant fish. There's one. There's one. There's one. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Get up in here, boy. Whoa. Oh. He's dead. He's dead. 100%. He's dead. Oh, I smoked your camera. We're good. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Hey, hey, Felipe. Chill out, little dude. Right there. You guys can tell it's a wee bit windy. And we are catching absolute Nebraska Bruce today. But 40 degree weather, or 40 degree water, 35 degree weather. Not bad. I will take it. We made a little bit of a switch here. I'm throwing a little soft plastic on a swing head. Ben's throwing a jig. Now we're doing a little bit of offshore. So originally we were throwing on the rock jetty shallow with jerk baits. Now we're throwing a little bit deeper offshore and just, just dragging these things. I mean, these fish are so lethargic right now. I'm literally just holding my rod out and just dragging it along, kind of hopping it, skipping it along. And, uh, and then you just feel a light little peck and that's it. And you can't let them peck it for more than like two seconds. Otherwise they drop it every time. You just, you basically have to have your rod tight. And the second you feel a peck, you just smoke them. <coughs> There's a cough of a lung. Yeah, Hi <coughs> right, guys, how's it going? Fishing a flare here. Just dying of, I don't even know what you call this. Hypothermia mixed with laryngitis. That's something with your lungs, right? Sure. I don't know. Right. I'm not. I'm not a doctor, but we uh. We'll giving you a little update here since we're out of the wind. We were basically in the wind for the last hour, getting all sorts of sick and cold and frostbite and hypothermia and all this good stuff. Could not find any super out deep. We, we, I got that one. Ben got a few on a jig. I caught the one on the wobble head and we haven't had anything really since then. So we kind of came up here, pushed up out of the wind. I'm throwing a little, little net rig action. Old milkman over there is throwing the jerk bait still. We're gonna see if we basically just came up here just to get out of the wind just because it's it's cold and uncomfortable out there. We're gonna see if we can find any fish up here. There may be some big ones, probably small ones. I don't know. There might be might be some decent sized fish up here. But we're gonna keep on grinding right now. Like I said, it's 40, 40 degree water temps. You really can't complain if you're catching any fish at all. We would like a big one though. Our goal today is to catch a big one. Yep, that's what he, that's what he, there's one. Oh, yeah. There's one. Come on. Come on now. That's not bad. Come on, buddy. Woo! I'll take them. Oh man. Yeah, we had not we have not caught a fish in so stinking long. Oh. No! No! Oh, we got doubles again! What doubles. the hell, dude? Oh! Yep. Swing, baby! That's how it's done. Well, they're definitely grouped up. Player fish. We found oh. oh, you killed it. He's dead. I thought this thing only caught muskies. There you go. It's Double. There, folks. Double. Two dollar jig. Got a little finesse rig. You're throwing a finesse jig? A really small jig. Small jig, yeah. and I'm throwing a, a little small worm. See, buddy? No giants, but finally. Goodness. That yeah. took so long. Yeah. We're just beating this beating this bank. I got smoked. He got smoked. So they're obviously somewhat grouped up because that's the second double of the day. We've only caught like seven or eight fish in total. So now that we found two, I'm sure there's going to be more here. We're going to keep on throwing it. But I'm using just a nice little finesse it up with a little white bird. Phantom reel, some braid, some light fluorocarbon, a little Ned rig. This is the, this is the freaking juice, folks. There's one. There's one. There's one. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Get in here, son. Uh-oh. I think I beat you. Definitely beat you. I could tell this one was giant by the way he was pecking at my worm. All right, see you later, Franklin. Boom. We got another fish. Milken just got jig fish. I just caught another finesse worm fish. We're still looking for big mama. Big slouch donkey. Bye. Peace. It is so freaking cold. Oh man, we're done. We're done fishing. That was so cold. I mean, so cold. It's 43 degrees right now, which doesn't seem all that cold, but then you get yourself on the water and it feels a few degrees even cooler. And then you add 20 mile an hour north freaking wind and uh it gets a little bit chilly and my hands are pretty much numb the entire time i'm still trying to get feeling back in them but we did catch some fish which is good but before i end this video 
I forgot some very important information for you guys. So for those of you guys are still sticking around, you get some little bit of not really exclusive access, but you're going to get some uh, deals that people that did not stay to the end will get. For Mystery Tackle Box, I will leave the link down below as well. You got to sign up for their alerts. They're having a huge, huge, huge Black Friday sale. And uh, you just click the link down below. It's under the Flare Alerts. And uh, they'll send you all the alerts for all the deals that they're going to be having for Black Friday. It's going to be their biggest sale that they've ever done for subscription. So if you guys are looking to sign up for Mystery Tackle Box, hang on. Go sign up for the alerts and uh, and get your subscription during Black Friday to save you some money. But like I said at the beginning of the video with the boat giveaway, uh, would really appreciate if you guys went down and donated. I will be donating myself and uh, you get a chance to win a boat. And I guess, I'll tell you right now, if I win the $83,000 boat, I will give the boat away. That's it right there. If I win the boat, I'm going to purchase a raffle ticket. If I win, I will give the boat away to one of you guys that are, that are watching right now. So, would really appreciate it. It goes to a good cause. Um, you know, it's something I want to help him out with. And again, it's you only got like a day and a half, which kind of sucks for those of you guys who are watching this past that. But uh, unfortunately, I was not able just to get a fishing video in time. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. It was, although we didn't catch a lot of big fish, Ben, ben caught a three pounder, which, which isn't bad. Uh, not bad. We'll take it. Um, it was a good day. You know, it was very cold, like I said, but, you know, we used my fall fishing techniques, which is jerk baits and jigs and that type of stuff. And we caught some fish, which is good. And, and a little net rig, a little finesse room, which is always good. So it was a good time out in the water with Ben. Uh, I will leave his channel down below if you guys also want to check that out. Hopefully I'll be able to go fishing soon. I'm headed to Texas at the end of this month, but I'm going to be doing a ton of hunting. And I mean, and actually I'm going hunting right now. I'm actually going to be meeting a subscriber, which I'm going to make that separate video. I'm meeting a subscriber right here in about 20 minutes uh, to film an evening field hunt, which I have not done yet this year, but I'm going to be duck hunting and goose hunting uh, so much. Uh, I'm so excited. I know a lot of you guys don't do that and you guys would rather see me fish, but it's something that I, I truly love doing and I grew up doing, so I'm going to keep on doing it. Whether YouTube pays me to do it or not, I'm going to continue to do it. And uh, yes, anyways, I'm not going to make this outro any longer. I know I plugged and mentioned and linked so many different products. Um, but again, the, the Mr. Tackle Box could not do it without these guys. You know, with YouTube demonetizing my videos, there's really no way for me to make this make these videos for a living without Mr. Tackle Box. They're a huge support of myself and the entire Guggen Squad. So you make sure you go, go check them out if you already have it. It's a great, great holiday gift. And again, the charity uh, giving to the King's Home would be fantastic of you guys that can afford to do so. And you get a chance to win an $83,000 boat. So not a bad deal. Anyways, I'm going to shut up because that's way too much talking. Thank you guys so much for watching. And Peace!